You are listening to an exclusive preview of this week's episode of STF Underground. It's me, it's me, it's M-M-E. Welcome to In the Mind of Mr. Main Event. I am Mr. Main Event, a lifelong wrestling fan who's gone through many phases of fandom, including being a smart mark, a backyard wrestler, a trained professional wrestler, and now I'm back doing what I love, sitting back, watching, and being a fan of my favorite kind of entertainment, professional wrestling. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about the relevance of championships in general in the WWE today. About a week ago, scrolling through Twitter, I saw an interesting tweet from ProWrestling.com's Mike Killam, and that tweet said the following, that there has been exactly one intercontinental title reign to last six months since Cody Rhodes dropped the title at WrestleMania 28. It was Miz, and it lasted exactly six months. Mike's tweet got me wondering about previous decades intercontinental champions, and I started to look at some history. Now I warn you, what I talk about today is going to be pretty numbers heavy. You might want to bring out your TI-82s, and Abacus, and Scott Steiner, as we dig through the research which leads me to this week's topic where I'm going to discuss... What is the status of the WWE intercontinental title? We all know that the title's first holder was Pat Patterson who won the title in a grueling tournament in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 1979, wink wink. While that was a little before my time, my outstanding memory had me believing that the best era for the IC champions was the 80s and maybe even the 90s. And here's what I found. In the 80s there were only 14 title changes. Almost all of the holders held the title for over 6 months, 11 out of 14 of them to be exact with Pedro Morales, Don Morocco, Macho Man, and Honky Tonk Man each holding for over a year. The 90s started out with, I believe, the most popular intercontinental champion of all time, the Ultimate Warrior. He had to vacate the title after beating Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6. And after that, in the 90s, there were a total of 45 title changes. Of the 45 title changes, only four of them were over six months in length. Four! Now, the 90s had some of the best wrestlers to ever hold the title. Bret Hart, HBK, Roddy Piper, Rock, Stone Cold. We also had some of the, well, not best. Guys like Dean Douglas, D'Lo Brown, Ahmed Johnson, Mark Merrow. But that number of only 4 out of 45 holding longer than 6 months kind of blew my mind. Until the 2000s, that is. In the 2000s, there were 69 title changes. And how many of them lasted over 6 months? Three! In the entire decade. No wonder so many people stopped watching wrestling during this time. That's ridiculous. And then since 2010, there have been 46 title changes, with only two reigns lasting over six months. Cody Rhodes and The Miz. So Mike was right. Since 2012, when Cody lost the IC title at WrestleMania to The Big Show, only The Miz has held it longer than six months since then. But when was the last reign of six months or longer before Cody held the title? 2007. That means since 2007, that's been 12 years, only two people have held the title for more than six months. Now since 2016 when Zack Ryder dropped the title to The Miz, the only holders of the title have been Miz, Dolph Ziggler, all the guys of The Shield, and the guys currently feuding, Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor. Those are some quality names. The Miz succeeded in bringing some attention back to the title and even mentioned that it needed to be brought back to prominence and he would be the one to do it. And I really do think he did a good job, but there's still plenty of work to do. Now it's not all about the length of the title reigns, and I'm sorry again for bringing you a statistics course to a podcast, but in order to start making the title relevant again, I really do believe that the champion needs to hold on to the belt for a considerable amount of time. Maybe let Bobby Lashley hold it for a year and see what happens. One thing that makes me believe that we're in for some more mediocrity is that the current champ, Bobby Lashley, doesn't even have a WrestleMania match yet and we're less than three weeks away. Now I know Doug and Fox probably have some match ideas for WrestleMania, and I'm tired of spewing all these numbers, so I'll be on Twitter if you need me. Contact me at NoBigWeevils. That's N-O-B-I-G-W-E-E-V-I-L-S. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one-on-one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percents, I got 141 and two-thirds chance of winning. Like what you heard? New episodes drop every week. If you want more content, follow us on Facebook at 
STF Underground Podcast or on Twitter and Instagram at STF Underground. <laughs>